Just like we can test whether or not two population means are different, we can also test whether or not two population variances are different. And so this is going to test now our null hypothesis that the standard de deviation from population one is equal to the standard deviation from population two. And we can assume that these are independent samples. And so here again, we can say that S sub one estimates sigma one or estimates the population standard deviation. S sub two, the sample standard deviation, estimates the population standard deviation. And we can calculate a test statistic by simply taking the ratio of S1 to S2. And so then you can think about if the two population variances are equal, then this ratio should equal about one. And I should say for the ratio here, we're doing the ratio on the sample variance because we're squaring it, but you'd get the same value if you looked at just the sample standard deviation. And so to do that, we're going to introduce a new distribution, which we call the F distribution. This is what we call an asymmetric distribution. That is, depending on the number of degrees of freedom, you'll get different symmetries in the F distribution. You can see that as the number of degrees of freedom go up, you get a more normal looking graph, as you see here in the gray area. So this distribution is commonly used in the analysis of variance, a topic that we'll talk about in a lot more depth later in the class. The distribution's peak happens just to the right of zero, and the higher the value of F, the lower the curve. And so this distribution always has a value greater than, uh, greater than zero. Most of the area is near one. And it depends on two different degrees of freedom, the degrees of freedom for population one and the degrees of freedom for uh, population two. So for an example, consider you have an F distribution with four and nine degrees of freedom. We can say that the upper tail value from the F distribution with four and nine degrees of freedom is the area under the curve to the right of it. So if we say that the level of significance that we're interested in is 0 0.10, we could write that the value F for a level of significance at 0 0.10 with four and nine degrees of freedom is 2.69. So we can then think about the lower tail value of that distribution, kind of doing the inverse of that. So here the value F at 0 0.90 levels of significance with four and nine degrees of freedom can be one over its inverse. And so we'll get 0 0.254. And we find these values, 2.69, 3.94, from an F table, or we could also use our software to calculate it. And so just like we can test a lower tail or an upper tail test, or assume that the means were not equal, we can do the same thing for variances. So this has a lot of notation on this figure, but I just want to point it out that for the null hypothesis that the two standard deviations are equal, we can calculate one of many alternative hypotheses. The standard deviation for sample one is less than the standard deviation for sample two. The standard deviation greater than uh, this, the other standard deviation or that the standard deviations are not equal. Our test statistic again is that simple ratio, uh, the variance squared for population one, sorry, for sample one divided by the variance squared for sample two. And then we're going to set up a test depending on how we set up our null hypothesis. And our level of significance will depend on uh, what value for the critical value for F that we compare against. And so as an example, we can look at tree diameters. 
We're going to go through an example using this to see if these variances are equal between two different populations of trees. And so in this case, foresters have measured the diameters in inches of 10 open grown trees and 16 suppressed trees. They want to test their null hypothesis, are the variances equal or are the standard deviations equal versus are the standard deviation from population one greater than the standard deviation from population two. And we're going to use a level of significance of 0.05. And we've got some data from our samples. So y bar sub one is going to equal 20.04. That is the mean diameter of open grown trees is 20.04 inches. And the standard deviation was 0.474 inches. For the suppressed trees, the mean diameter was 9.99 inches. And its standard deviation was 2.33 inches. So what we're really comparing here is, is this value 0.474 about equal to 0.233? And so we're going to ask the question, do we reject or fail to reject the null hypothesis? And then really, what can we conclude about the variance between these two populations of tree diameters?